Let's get right to it. Let's welcome our first guest, the great Los Angeles Dodger, 10-time All-Star, two-time MVP, Steve Garvey. How are you, Steve? Yeah, it's great to be with you today. This is kind of neat for me, Steve. I'm sure that you've been dying to talk to me again, and, and you remember like it was yesterday, but about 30 years ago. God, should I even say 30 <laughs> years? I'm not that old. But uh, you came on one of my shows uh, called Superstars in Sports uh, many, yeah. many years ago. You were We had a yeah. lot of fun. But uh, it's great to talk to you again. Well, you know, you're, you're, you're part of that old saying, he was good for so long he's become great. I mean, you know, 30 years of doing what you do and serving the public with information, entertainment uh, is quite a career, and I applaud you. Well, thank you very much. You know, uh, I, uh, everybody, though, then bows down to you. Bow, bows down to you. Uh, amazing <laughs> baseball career. Uh, you know, you... Uh, uh, the the neat thing about what you did is, I guess they called you Mr. Clean. You know, you uh, you really had a, a you know a pure um, your personality. You were great with people. Uh, you were always fun to watch and and fun to to uh, watch with fans. You know, you never turned anybody down. Uh, it was mm-hmm. it was pretty it was a pretty neat time to be a Dodger fan when you were when you were playing. Oh, absolutely. You know, and I, I, I give a significant amount of credit, Chris. You know, we always want to mention our parents first. And I was an only child, and uh, my dad, uh, Joe Garvey, always said he took one look at me after I was born and said, "Looks, Millie, this looks like a lot of work. Let's only have one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but I, I, you know, grew up as an only child. I had both parents to shepherd me and teach me and you know, sometimes uh, get me on the right path again. But my dad was a Greyhound bus driver, and in the spring of 1956, uh, towards the end of March, he came home and he said, you want to skip school tomorrow? I'm like, wow. Yeah, Dad, mm-hmm. what are we doing? He said, well, I've got a charter to pick up the Brooklyn Dodgers from the Tampa airport, take it to St. Pete to play the Yankees in an exhibition game. And he said, wow. I think it might be a fun day for, for you and I. And, of course, for all the historians, that was the spring after the Dodgers finally beaten the dreaded Yankees. They were world champions. So that uh, that next day I was going to see uh, the boys of summer. And we got the bus and uh, the next morning and drove to the tarmac at uh, the airport. And about 8.15, the K O'Malley one landed, which was the Dodger plane, only team that had their own plane. And it had Dodgers on the side, the baseball on the tail, and uh, taxied up. And uh, my dad and two other gentlemen had just started the second Little League in Tampa, and it was going to start the following Saturday, so I was into it and practicing and collecting baseball cards. And uh, so the night before, I'd gotten gotten into my Have a Tampa cigar box and pulled out six Dodger cards. And I was standing in front of the bus with my with my dad, and the players came off. And the first one was a skipper, Walter Alston, and Pee Wee Reese, and Hodges, and Ferrillo, and Snyder, and and. Uh, the last two guys were Roy Campanella and Jackie Robinson, oh my. and they stopped, and um, and I'm looking there wide-eyed, and, and uh, Jackie says to my dad, is this your son? My dad had this name tag, Joe. He says, yeah, he says, looks like a pretty good athlete. And my dad said, yeah, he's starting Little League and uh, so forth. And Jackie said, well, son, you practice hard. Maybe someday you'll be a Dodger. And I looked at him. I said, yes, sir. And Roy said those dreaded words to my dad. Is he a pretty good student, Joe? And uh, my dad said, well, he's working on it. Well, <laughs> I was the worst reader in class, and, uh, and, and we were working on it. And, uh, and, and Roy said, well, son, you can be a very good player, but unless you know how to you know, the problem solve and to think, and unless you do well in school, you'll, you'll never really make it. So uh, he patted me on the head, and those were maybe the biggest two statements from Jackie and, and Roy uh, at that time in my life. And that day I got a chance to bat boy for the Dodgers, but I also got a chance to see, you know, Mantle and, uh, and all those great Yankee players, Barra, uh, Scallon. And uh, that's when I fell in love with the game. So I actually was baptized that day. And uh, over the next probably six, seven, eight years, my dad had a chance to drive for him again, and I got a chance to grow up with my uh, with my idols. So it was a pretty good foundation for you know, 12 years later out of Michigan State, they get drafted by the team in the first round and eventually make it to L.A. and play there for 15 years. But I always look back and remember how Reese treated me and Hodges and, and, uh, and Jackie Robinson literally sat on my lap that day. I was on the bench. He didn't see me, and 
he goes, oh, I'm sorry, son. I'm thinking, wow, Monday, show and tell. Am I going to have a great story for everybody? <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was a great way to grow up, but it was a great foundation on respect, uh, respect for the game, honoring the game and the fans, and I tried to do that throughout my career and, and yes. every day today. It, and it shows, and to, to have that experience is once in a lifetime, and it's amazing the impact that it made on your life, as well as with your parents. And listen, we have to take a short break, and I want to come back and talk a little more about uh, um, about Hit Kings and, uh, and everything else that you're doing in your life. So uh, you're listening to CEO Money. This segment was sponsored by Tycon Partners. We'll be right back with Steve Garvey. Welcome back. You've been listening to CEO Money. I'm here with baseball great Steve Garvey. So, Steve, let me ask you uh, about um, Hit Kings Baseball. You know, you could align yourself with any company. Why did you make the choice to align yourself with Hit Kings Baseball and join their board? Well, yeah, Pete Rose has obviously been a, um, a long-time contemporary of mine, a dear friend, and uh, uh, I was over in Las Vegas. I pinched it for him once in a while at the Art of Music store there, um, and um, the discussion came about about uh, about Hit King uh, and, and Pete's involvement uh, discussion, and I said, well, who created this? And, and he said, uh, Johnny Johnson out of Texas and Houston. Um, very, very strong, uh, well-respected businessman, uh, very good critical thinker in the, uh, in the business world, um, an entrepreneur in many ways too, who had come up with a concept of, uh, a continuing evolution of, of, uh, amateur education in sports and in particular baseball. He's very strong in baseball and he decided there was a need for, um, more of an academy camp uh, education of uh, excellent instructors um, who who put together a, a well structured um, opportunity for for young players, and then provide them opportunities to play through teams and, and tournaments. Um, and uh, there are some around the country, but but Johnny really did a great job of thinking this through. Decided he needed a well known uh, former player who had uh, national visibility, uh, approached Pete, and uh, Pete thought it was such a worthwhile project that he committed himself 100%. And uh, Pete gave me the broad overview of it, and he said, would you be interested in joining the board? And I said, uh, I, I said, I would. Number one, it's kids. Number two, it's baseball. Number three, it's business. Sure. Uh, I have Garvey Media Group, which is a uh, media consulting company and uh, brand management company. I've had that for 25 years now, so I'm always looking for unique business concepts that I think I can, uh, can lend my expertise to. So one thing led to another, joined the board, mm-hmm. and now um, I believe it's it's such a good, strong foundation to the business itself and the, to the future of continuing to help our domestic kids develop, uh, both on the field and off the field. Uh, it's not just education. It's the education of, of young men, and, and we also have the extension of softball and, and girls sure. uh, to be good citizens. Uh, I really to be enjoyed that. To members of our society, well-educated, uh, and to learn how to be good sportsmen, good competitors. So it's a great foundation with Hit King for the future. No, truly, truly it is, and I enjoyed speaking with Johnny Johnson the other day, and he was telling me, and, and Pete as well, about uh, the kind of the curriculum and how they, you know, it's not just about baseball, but it is. And it's not just about hitting home runs. You know, uh, it's it's about you know playing the game and respecting the game and, and other individuals as you play the game and being good citizens. And that's a that's one thing that really stuck with me. And and now you know when I heard that I went okay that makes sense because Pudge is a good friend and I know uh, you know Pudge is very ethical and. And, and, and a great person and, and you and your yeah. history. Uh, so now I see, you know, you guys wrapping all around uh, Hit King. It makes perfect sense. Listen, uh, it's hitkingbaseball.com. Steve, I'd like to spend the rest of the day talking to you, but we've got to <laughs> end this segment. We've got to talk about the season. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, uh, we'll do it again next time, but I've sure enjoyed having you on the show. It's great to talk to you again. 
Uh, you Absolutely. look so good after 30 years. Actually, this is radio. I can't see you, but I'm sure you're looking good. Uh, anyway, right. it was fun, well, and I appreciate you being on the show with us. Thanks, Mike. Well, well, five daughters and a wife constantly running uh, uh, running herd over me. They use my facial cream and exercise and watch my <laughs> diet. So I've got a whole team uh, like Kid King <laughs> except looking after me. I'm blessed. Thanks so much, Steve. That's Steve Garvey, Mr. Los Angeles Dodger, Mr. Clean, Mr. Baseball. Thanks for being on the show.